Hi, um, I'm Yoko Shioya, Artistic Director at the Japan Society. Thank you so much for coming here. Um, it's my great honor to present uh, Sakura Ando with 2015 Cut Above Award for Outstanding Performance in Film. You saw some clips, great one. And um, um, even for her very high standard, Ando san has had quite an amazing year, past year of performances, beginning with 0.5 millimeters of the film, which actually had a world premiere here at the Japan Society last year, um, last year's Japan Cuts 2014 which was joined by the director, Momoko Ando, who is actually the sister of Sakura Ando. Now we are thrilled to uh, present Shingo Wakagi's Asleep, which was, as um, Joy mentioned earlier, which was screened earlier this evening, just a minute ago. And uh, uh, this fantastic film, 100 Yen Lab, it's coming very soon, which actually the Japan uh, Times called, quote, the best performance of Ando's so far brilliant career. We have to agree here, as in every film she appears, um, whether the role is small or large, her performance is elevates the entire project to greatness. I am pleased to mention that Ando-san's visit coincide with Japan Society's um, launch of new and long-term initiative called Women on the Rise, which is an institution-wide effort to introduce programming that addresses uh, issues affecting women worldwide and to shine a light on women who are pushing boundaries and expanding horizons within their field. It is undeniable that Andosan is a perfect example of a woman on the rise. While she only debuted as a professional film actress in 2007, uh, through her increasing lead, leading roles, she has become recognized as one of the most highly respected actresses in the industry. Among a number of prestigious recognitions and awards Andosan has received, Recently, she was ranked as the eighth best Japanese actress of all time, of all time, uh, by Kinema Junpo. Actually, the, the rank is shared by the legendary actress Kinuyo Tanaka. Ooh, yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. And we are uh, so proud that Japan Cats has kept an eye on Ando-san from the beginning of her career up to now having shown 11 films that features her performances uh, since the beginning of this festival in 2007, including Ain't No Tomorrows in 2008 and Love Exposures in 2009. Did you see that? Ooh, okay. And uh, last year's aforementioned world premiere of uh, 0.5 millimeters. Um, in these and many other roles, Ando-san has proven herself a master performer willing to take an unexpected or controversial roles and go where others want. It is this sincere bravery that makes Japan society, Japan Cuts, wants to celebrate her evening and we are so excited to have her here tonight. Now, please join me in giving a warm welcome to Sagrando. ありがとうございます。えっと、なんだか今の<笑> Thank you so much. Um, listening to the introduction, I'm quite embarrassed. I'm sorry this is what you got today. This is a kind of person. <laughs> この
という章みたいですがあの、まあ、こんなまだまだこんなちびちびっとしたキャリアなので私はこれを今までのではなくこれからいかに映画とこう自分が向き合ってどう向き合っていけるかっていうなんかこれからのなんか。So I think this award is reflective of、um, what I've done so far in my career, but to tell you the truth, my career is still very tiny. So I would like to、um, use this award as a sort of a, a fight for me to continue working in, in, the, in film industry and also to confront what it is that I do in cinema and to really、uh, encourage me in that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for sharing your、uh, great film with us.、Um, and I'm sure the audience is、uh, amazed by your boxing skills in the film. <laughs>、uh, and I'm guessing the first thing on people's mind is what training you did to get into、uh, shape for this role and to perform as Ichigo Saito. So, this is boxing. 撮影前の3ヶ月間でボクシングは、うん、そうですねあのくらいまで頑張りましたでうん何より私はでもボクサーとしての体よりも最初のいかにこう自堕落な生活を送ってる女なんか。どんだけ汚くなれるかっていうのがまずそこにリアリティがないとなと思っていたのでえそれもできる限りいろんなことを試して頑張りました。So,、uh, in regards to the boxing practice,、um, I began training three months prior to the shooting. But、um, above all,、um, More importantly than creating a body that's fit for a boxer,、um, I think I focused more on creating this a very slovenly slob of a woman, and I wanted to make that as realistic as possible. So I tried、um, different, many different things. So, だからあのまあ具体的に汚くするにはまあもちろん太太りたいなあの女優さんがこういうや女の役やってんのねって思われるのは嫌だったっていうのと。でも実はボクシングのシーンはボクシングをやってる人方々にあまあまあでも映画の撮影だからとか女優さんがやってるボクシングだからって思われるのも嫌だったんですどっちもなんかやりたいっていうのがあってで、あのー、撮影がでも2週間で撮らなきゃいけなくて。で2週間で撮るにはボクシングを始める前とボクシングを始めた後はもう一日に何回も何回も行き来しなきゃいけないんですよね家なら家の今日は家の撮影だけとかっていうスケジュールになるんで。<笑><笑>なので最初の4日間はもうマックスにデブな状態を保ってであとの10日間で
最後の試合のシーンだけは一番最後っていうのは、まあ、髪の毛のいろいろあったりするんでそれだけ決まってたんでその10日間で肉を落とそうと脂肪を落とそうと、うん、そうですねそういう計画にしました。So the way I approached the,、uh, the filming is the first four days I became as, as, as overweight, as fat as possible to depict that scene. And in the rest of the 10 days, I knew at the end of the 10 days、um, we had to shoot the last match scene. So, and I, I would have short hair as well. So I, I had 10 days to sort of slow off all the fat and, get, and prepare myself for that last scene. だから最初にそれ,そ,それがでも撮影のギリギリ直前に私もうちょっと時間がもらえると思ってたんですよ。そういう約束をしたと思ってたんですけどなそ,うそういう直前に「よ休みはないですよ」ってことになったんでもうじゃあ何が一番いいかってとにかく筋肉、ま、もう筋肉は目いっぱいつけた上に脂肪をつけてで一気に脂肪だけを落とすっていうのが一番手っ取り早いんじゃないかと私は思って。で、10日間でその脂肪だけ落としていたんです。So before、uh, we started shooting, I thought I would be given more time to prepare for the role, but that was not the case at all. So、uh, how did I do it?、Um, I thought the easiest approach would be to gain as much muscle as possible to build my body and、uh, put on the fat on top of it. So within that 10 day period, I could just take, out, take off the fat and I would have the muscle remaining. 大成功 And it was a great success. So, 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 黒染めをしてとか言うとこうでも映んなかったですね<笑>あのやったりここの毛を伸ばしたり歯医者に行ってみたりなんかいろいろやってみたんですけどあんまりその分かんない。So、um, <laughs> I had to, as I said, I had to be as dirty as possible in those beginning scenes. And what I did is sometimes I, I just grew out all the hair on my body. And I just tried to do that. And in regards to my hair,、um, I tried to bleach it so that it, it would just be damaged. And I, would just, I just put my hair through the ringer so that. But I guess it didn't, you couldn't see, catch all the details. I went to the dentist as well, tried different things. But I don't know if that, you could catch all that in the film. So, in the film. Um, so, in addition to it being a physical performance where there's a strong sportsmanship,、um, there's also a lot of physical comedy in the film. And I want to know to what degree you are actively、um, thinking about、uh, physical comedy、um, in your performance. I couldn't help but notice that recently you retweeted、uh, Buster Keaton GIF animation in your Twitter timeline. <laughs> so, I'm wondering、uh, what kind of、uh, classic film. Uh, influences you may have in、uh, your performances in, in this work? I like to watch the film and enjoy the film. I like to watch the film and enjoy the film. I like to watch the film and enjoy the film. I like to watch the film and enjoy the film. I like to watch the film and enjoy the film. I like to watch the film and enjoy the film. I like to watch the film and enjoy the film. 肉体っていうのはなんかこうすごいなんかもっと本当は言いたい言葉があるんだけど難しい肉体って大事だなって思ったのは改めて思いましたうんなんつったらいいんだろうな言いたいことがあるんだけどでもとりあえず。So,、um, actually, no,、um, I enjoy watching those films and myself, and I watch them often and enjoy them, but I don't really use them as inspirations for my acting.、Um, but in regards to 100 Yen Love, though, I think I relearned really the importance of the physical body, the physicality. I think I relearned really the importance of the physicality. I think I relearned really the importance of the physicality. もちろんそこにあるメンタルとなんかわかんないもっとそういう
なんていうの目に見えないものとか全部ギュッと全てを使って表現するエネルギーの塊になりたいって思ったのが最初のこの仕事に就きたいと思った最初の何て言うの何になりたいか女優さんになりたいっていうかそれになりたいと思ってだからなんか私にとってはすごく肉体をこの芝居というもので肉体を使うっていうのはすごく意識して何かをしてるわけではないけどすごく自分にとって一番大事なものでうん。Just not just my physical body, but my, my, my mentality as well. I just want it to be a ball of energy that really expresses everything and, and, and even things that are not even visible. So,、um, in that sense, for me,、um, in, I think the physical body is very important for my acting. And、uh, I, th- I would say it's the most important、um, aspect for me. Can I, can I continue? <laughs> 自分の思いがけない動きが出るっていうのもそれもとてもす,とすごく好きなんですねその瞬間もだけど自分の体に制限をかけてそういうただの生理だけでは動かないっていう制限をかけることも私はすごく好きでその狭間をなんかもう、うん、いるあのじお芝居をしている時間が好きというかなんかだから肉体って私にとってはなんか。うんはい。今まで過ごした時間とこれから過ごしていく私の持ってる私自身が持ってる時間と私のこのそれを持ってるこの肉体を作品だったり役に提供するのが仕事だと思っているのでそうもう元はやっぱ肉体ありきなんですね。<笑> So, I think what's important, and what I just have to say, is that I think as an actor, I dedicate not only my physical body, but the time that I've been living and the time that I will spend in the future, all that I just dedicate to the, pro- to the project that I'm doing. I think that's it. Great.、Um, I have many more questions,、um, but I do want to give、uh, audience members a chance、yeah. to. Uh, this is actually a question about your life off the set during the filming of this.、Mm-hmm. But I'm wondering if, you know, let's say on a day off, you didn't have any days off, but let's just say you woke up in the morning. Did you ever accidentally punch someone you didn't want to punch just because you were so into it that, you know, someone's like, oh, hi, and you just poof, right in the, in the face? Did that happen? Not yo! Of course not! No! It's <laughs> good. そうセットじゃない時はあのー、普通のこんな感じ<笑>こんな感じだ,だけどだけどもだけどあ,のあれなんですこの「100円の声」の撮影中試合のシーンの前の日だけ休みになってたんですねその休みの日に整体見てマッサージ行って。たらその人にその人は動物とかの体も見てる先生でその先生に
君は今あの競争前の,あの馬のと同じ目をしてるって言われて。<笑>でその帰りに馬と同じ目かと思いながらやばいなでも自分なんか変だなと思いながら歩いてたら知り合いに会って大変も申し訳ないんですけど安藤さん今人殺しの顔をして歩いてらっしゃいましたって言われたんで、まあ、少なからずなんかちょっと影響はあったんじゃないかなとは思うんですけど私自身の意識としては普通の乙女な女の子ですあの現場ではない時は。はい So, offset, I'm just as you see me here today. And,、uh, but in regards to 100 yen,、um, the, the day before we shot the last match, I, I had a, a one day break. So, I went to a physical fitness instructor and,、uh, and to get a massage. And、uh, he told me, and he often treats、uh, animals as well. And he told me, You have the eyes of a horse that's about to go on a race. So, I, was, I, I thought it was terrible. But, and, then I, and then as I walked home, I bumped into a friend and she said,、uh, I'm sorry, Ms. Sando, but、uh, you have a face of a killer right now. <laughs> so,、um, I think, you know, I think that some, some, some of the role did influence me. Okay, great.、Uh, let's take one more question.、Uh, let's take the third row here. Uh, my question for you is、uh, which、uh, you know, famous fighters inspired you? Because、uh, there was like a, a switch when you just turned on and you just started fighting for real, and you looked very badass at the end. <laughs> so, do you have anything specific? Like、uh, uh, any current boxers right now or boxers from the past? Ah! 中学の時に本当興味本位で少しだけボクシングをやったことがあってでその時の師匠にこのオーディション決まってまだ本格的なトレーニングが始まる前に実は闇練というかこっそりトレーニングをしてもらってた時に「お前このこの線私ボクシングとか本当格闘技とか本当あ全然分かんないんですけど」見るのも苦手でけど、えー、となんだっけな誰だったっけかな<笑>あシャベスかロペス、ね、シャベスかロペスを見てお前がやりたい方を選べって言われてでシャベスめっちゃかっこいいけどロペスって言ってそっから。トークンが始まったっていうのはありました。ありがとうございます。<笑>っていうのはあります。あご,ごめんなさい。伝わってる気分でいた。ごめんなさい。Okay. I think you got the, the spirit of what I was trying to say, but、um, just to go back,、um, and when I was in middle school,、um, I, I, I had a bit of an interest, so I did a little bit of boxing, only a little bit. But the instructor that I had at the time, I went to him when、um, I went through the audition and got the role, and it, this was even before I started training. And I went to the instructor, and、uh, I have no.、Uh, Knowledge of boxing. I can't even watch it on TV. But、um, he, he, cho- he told me, the instructor told me to choose do you prefer Chavez or Ro- Lopez? And、uh, he, he, he told me to pick one. And Chavez was really awesome and really cool, but I think I really preferred L- Lopez. <laughs> okay, great.、Um, oh, this is the end. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any final comments for the audience? <laughs> でもこ,もうこれじょ<笑>じょあのー、ね私のしゃべるよりもなんか質問聞く。Well, uh, in spite of, this, you know, not, instead of me speaking, I want, to, I want one more question. Come on. <laughs> Right here? If we could bring a microphone to the man in the white hat. Comedy Garrison, Japanese designer, of course. 
動くからねずれちゃうの。Yeah, I, I, move out, I move around quite a bit, so I have to constantly adjust it. あ元気ですかって書いてあるので。Says hello among others in different languages. ちょっと今朝みたいかなっていうのもあって、あとちょっとニューヨークらしいなんか派手にしまえっていう感じで、せっかくならやっぱ日本のブランドで。で、はい。It's a little bit in,、um, influenced by ethnic wear, and also、uh, this is New York, so I want it to be as flashy as possible and、uh, really represent Japanese designers. So, this was the choice. Okay, Thank you so much, Ambo-san.